No way. Is that a flounder? What is up guys, Levi Peterson here, back at it with yet another video. Today I got more fish, I know it's crazy, I mean, I'm still waiting on a pump for the saltwater tank, which is sad, because they got back ordered again, and it's life, life happens. Um, today I kind of got one of the more exotics of the exotics, like, now a lot of people don't actually keep these, and they're kind of honestly rare to find, but they are actually relatively cheap, if I'm honest with you. These, a lot of people think they're hog chokers, but they're not. A freshwater flounder now these guys aren't fully true freshwater um, I won't even recommend honestly keeping them in freshwater and if you do not very long this is a freshwater tank they're literally gonna be in here for probably a couple weeks if that um, eventually I'm gonna have to add a little more salt and keep them in this 10 gallon um, and then eventually they're gonna add in here there's plenty of sand for them and they don't they take a little bit to grow and like the fish that I'm getting aren't going to be very big and eventually I might just have to take them out because they will eat my clown gobies and everything in the future once they get big enough to eat them but anyways these guys are super cool I'm going to kind of I'm gonna pull them out they're going in the hexagon tank there I got two they're kind of hard to see obviously they're a flat fish they're not truly freshwater the only freshwater flounder I know of are the flatfish there's like a tongue fish that's semi freshwater that some people can end up keeping the freshwater and I've heard lots of stories of people actually keeping these full freshwater, but they kind of lose a little, like, they don't do as good as they would in their natural habitat, which is brackish. Um, some people can keep them in brackish for a lifetime. Some people keep them in freshwater for a lifetime and grow them out, and they actually end up doing really well. So I'm going to see how they do for a couple weeks, and if they're starting to act a little weird, I'm going to add them some salt into the 10-gallon, and we'll see how that goes there. And eventually, obviously... I'm probably going to end up having to throw them in my salt water for a while. And we'll go from there if that happens. And if they're doing really well in fresh water and I notice that, then we may keep them in there for a little longer and see how they keep doing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and release them. I'm going to try to get the release as good as I could. You're probably not going to be able to see them very well. And once they get down on the sand, I'm going to have sand in here so they should be able to bury themselves and kind of hide out a little bit. Um, I was a little worried about the black ghost knife picking at them a little bit. But um, they should be fine. I got two African butterfly fish in here now. I'm going to try to breed them and see how that goes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and release these guys. I'm going to try to get it on video, like I said, the best that I can. And we'll go from there, guys. So I just threw them in the tank. The one's actually going up the side of the tank right now. And then the other one's sitting on the bottom over here. I'm gonna get the light on in a second and hopefully you can see them just a little bit better. I'm gonna clean up this glass real quick and we're gonna throw the light on. All right guys, so the light is on the tank. The African butterfly took a trip down to the bottom to check them out actually. I think he thought there might have been food. Um, let's see, there's one on the glass right there. It's working its way down towards the sand. And this guy's already starting to bury himself, which is really sweet. I've actually never seen a flounder in a tank. Um, like I said, I have sand, so they should be easily able to bury themselves and protect themselves if one of these guys gets feisty, which I don't think they would. Um, and if the ghost knight decides to pick on him, which I don't think he will. He's, like, well-fed and everything, and he's actually kind of grown a little bit. But, like I said, you can tell he's starting to bury himself, which is actually really cool. Never seen that. So, I'm going to actually turn the camera off for a little bit. And if they bury themselves pretty well, I'm going to get back on the camera and we'll talk a little bit more about them. Alright, guys. So, this one totally buried itself underneath the sand. The bushfish or the leaf fish, African bushfish, African leaf fish is checking this one out. I'm kind of surprised he actually hasn't been on the sand. You can see the size comparison. They're actually really small. These guys can get really big. 
But that guy like completely buried himself. I'm surprised this guy didn't yet, because usually when they're stressed, they bury themselves. If they're scared of a predator, they will bury themselves. Which so far he's doing really good. Um, I haven't seen any like they're br obviously they can tell they're breathing qu really quickly, which is normal for a newly acclimated fish. Here comes the keyhole cichlid. Let's see how he does over here. Come to check him out. Kind of scared me a little bit. He's like on it. He's like about to touch him. Ghost and I are checking out that other flounder. Yeah, there he is. That loach is checking him out. Like, look at this. This guy is honestly super cool. And there he goes. He's going to probably end up burying himself. And the get a better view it's hard with this hexagon tank to actually get a good view on these fish um but this tank is probably one of my prized tanks in this room um it's very clean i keep do a water change on it once a week and it, it just looks great i have live plants there's a killifish up there like this tank is one of my favorite tanks to watch because it's just so entertaining so i'm gonna let these guys be and that's gonna be a wrap for this video if you have any questions about these guys or need some information let me know text me on facebook um, I will try to help you out as much as I can with the fish that you want. Um, I'll try to help you out on the info of it and um, pretty much answer your questions about any of these fish and, well, these flounders. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm super excited about the new freshwater flounder is what they call them, but they're really not full fresh. The only freshwater flounder I know of is the black flounder or there's one called the peru flounder which people say is truly fresh water i'm gonna show you one more time this guy's starting to bury himself he's burying himself right there i think he got a little scared the keel still kind of picked on him a little bit but he seems to be doing better now but other than that thanks for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i'll catch you next time don't forget to be the fish and get outdoors peace you turn toward me and look so weak i've never seen you with such tired eyes Everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie